the sneak alert checking today. Today we've got another one for you. This is Simplicity Linux 12.4. Come out yesterday or the day before, something like that. And I thought I'd give it a go and let you see what it's all about. Now, based on Wary Racy 522, as a lot of them are at the moment, it's really, really popular for remasters and that new distro makers for a pup. It's very, very nice indeed. Very stable this time as well. Well done, Dave. Blimey. Jolly, jolly good. Now, this is the desktop edition. There is a media and a netbook edition as well, okay? I'll just let you know that. Right, so this is the desktop. So on your desktop, you've got Home, Abbey Word, because it's standard. Dropbox as standard. You get SkyDrive as standard as well. Remember, there's a Google app as well now. Is it Google Drive or something? I can't remember. I've, I've got it, but I can't remember what it's called. Genomeric, your trash. Rubbish, Dave. Rubbish. Firefox, a Skype standard. Pray. Yeah, I opened that and I thought I'd leave that one alone, okay? Installed it to a hard drive. So that's my hard drive there. And we've got Thunderbird for your mail. Your packages, which is the puppy package manager. VLC for plan vidvos. Whatever you want to do, really. Networking, so you can set up your wireless network, etc. Stuff like that. M player for playing M playing stuff. And setup for setting up all the pup stuff, basically, at the end of the day. But you can right click the desktop and you'll get here, because it's XFC based. Remember, I told you about that, didn't I? Yeah, did I not? Oh, I forgot. So if you right click, you can get your applications from here, or go down here to the menu in the menu -y bit. Okay, very nice. I'm using a dual core machine on this one here at the moment. I've installed it to a small partition. I have set up my firewall, and this is how my CPU is getting on down. And it's 27 today, by the way. Okay, we'll open up the menu. Right, basic puppy weary stuff, really. So I'm not going to go too much into it. If you know pup any at all, or you've used weary, racy, or any of the XFCE versions of pup, you'll know what I'm talking about. So your desktop settings is here for your drive icons manager. Puppet setup and stuff like that. QT configuration. Your country settings, you can set up your keyboard and stuff like that. And desktop appellettes, okay. Under system, it's usual pup stuff again. So under system, status and configuration, we have our LX task manager. I'll open it up for you and let you have a look. There we go. As you can see, not using hardly anything. It hovers around about 80 megabytes of RAM for general usage, so it's really fine. So it work on older machines as well, really. Remember, it does use a newer kernel. I think it's 307. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head. Okay. Under setup is all the usual puppy setup stuff. So there you go. So quick pets there and stuff like that. Is quick pet there? No. Quick first run settings. Sorry. I digressed that one, didn't I? Okay. The puppy package manager is there and check the dependencies, all stuff like that, and the XFCE for a settings manager. Okay. There's your setup wizard for all your else sound, DVDs, your printers, internet connections, firewall. Don't forget to do firewalls. Did I say it again? Yes, I did. And your setup utilities. So you're, if you want to remaster pup, you can use this as well. And the universal installer is here. I've already used it to install it, of course. File system, well, it's Thunar, isn't it? so it's nice and easy. So I'm going to open them up. Open up Thunar. As you can see, all nicey nicey there. Lovely. I like it. Nice. Okay. Dropbox is there. Dropbox is standard. very nice, though. It's a nice little addition to have. Under utilities, general utilities, do your flash player preferences. Flash is pre installed, by the way, so that's a rather nice when you've got to go and do that. Remember, the download is over 300 megabytes, but it does come with a lot of other stuff, so that's the main reason why. Show utilities for the terminal and stuff like that, so that's super duper. Under graphics, <clears throat> we have mashup and view noir basics, okay? Under graphics editors, I've actually installed GIMP because it wasn't there to start with, so that would have been a nice one to have. And MT Paint is your standard image editor. Graphics Utilities is Pup Camera Digital Camera Access and G Color 2 Color Chooser. So I'll open up GIMP to show you. It's a nice one, nice and fast, looks super duper. As you can see, my CPU is doing some stuff down the bottom there. Gimpy comes up rather nice and fast, super duper, I like it. Right, what else can I have a quick show? Documents, of course, is Abbey Word. I'm not sure what version it is, so I'll open it up and have a look. Comes up nice and fast. This is the most stable one he's made so far, or him and the team, should I say. Sometimes I did have a bit of beef with some of them over the years. Yes, years, uh, years. It's 286. That does the job, so I'm not too worried. Would have been nice to have 291, though. Okay. <clears throat> Under business, we get calculator, which is numeric and a basic calculator. Personal, for personal information, is bcrypt. I like bcrypt. It's nice and easy to use. Okay. Network applications. If you're wired, you won't have to worry about it too much. But if you want to set up a wireless network, you're going to go into here, okay? Or the desktop have a letter on the top. But under internet, although it's got Firefox, you also get Opera as well. So I'm not sure if it's the most current version of Opera, but we'll soon find out. Seems to be, let's open up up here, about Opera. Let's have a butcher's. 11.52, yeah, that's all right. I can live with that one. Can you live with that one? Yeah, well I can, so that's fine, okay? 
Okay, we'll close him down. Close him down, close him down. Right, anyway, yes. I wonder why Firefox is not in that menu. Yeah, I wonder. But right, under multimedia, you get Asunder and Double F Convert as standard. I'll go for playing DVDs, but then again, you've got VLC as well. You've got a ripper here for DVDs as also, so that's super fine. Under CD, DVD burning, you get burn ISO to CD, ISO master, and P burn. I like P burn. P burn's nice. It's a nice and burny P. Okay. We'll open up the Fox. There we go. I've upgraded to version 11 here. It was only on version 10. So if I put in here, we'll check out YouTube. Yes, it all works nice. Go there. La 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 So yeah, that's alright though. That's what it says in the tin. I'm liking. Okay. Right, where do I get it, I hear you say? Okay, so what we'll do. Go back to home and we're gonna put in Simplicity Linux. And there we are, simplicitylinux.org. If you want anyone or any of the ISOs, this is where you're gonna get it from. Over here you can see them. Yeah, desktop edition, the netbook edition, and the media edition. So it's all entirely up to you. So if this is where you want to get it from, you go here. Super duper. And he's got a little competition going as well. But he's misses or something. Oh, I don't know. You, you can read it later. Well, I'm not going to read it for you. On the whole, it runs really, really nice. <clears throat> Bearing it's based on Puppy Weary Racy, it should be. So it's super duper. If you like the look of it, put it on a USB stick or install to your hard drive. Very nice. I'm going to rate it. At 88%, sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye bye.